M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. The DSP2 does come with a stand that sticks to the back, so I thought I'd uh, stick it on. Now, they give you a spare sticky pad, just in case you need it. If you look closely, it's quite hard to see. It's uh, It's got one on there, you just peel that off. Now these are excellent, VHF, UHF, air band, marine band, all the HF bands, sound great. Let's just turn it up. Exceeds, exceeds anything I've ever used. It's literally that good. 250, 260 pounds. Just brilliant and you know, when you turn it on and off, there's a license there from Malihat. Everyone says, is it a clone? I don't really know why they keep saying that, because everything is being cloned, isn't it? Everything. Um, but um, it's excellent. And as good as, in my opinion, as good as any original you could get. So it seems to me the handiest thing for the stand is just to stop it falling backwards. So that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm literally just going to sit it on the ground like so, peel off the sticky section, unless you do need both pads, you know, I'm just going to sit it in the middle, I've got the, the large lug sticking outwards and this will fold up to that, and just stick it like that, really, so that when it folds, it does that. Pull it down. I know it's only glued on, but it seems pretty good. Give it a firm, sort of hold it on there. Hold it firm, don't break your screen. <laughs> nice big speaker on these. Now, will this affect the removal of the back? No, look. It's got six connectors there. It doesn't affect that at all. Now we'll turn it round, back to radio, just hit it twice, if you want to get on radio, just hit it twice, I'm going to do some comparison in a minute, on the left, we're going to we'll do it in the next video, on the left, have a look now, got the decoder version the ATS max decoder which I think is excellent oh yes yeah, it's more than half the price it's a little base station and it's decoding FT8 now as you can see yeah it's decoding it now and it will scroll down and so will the Malahat you set the frequency and you can you can create memory channels but there's 7074 now, mode, you just hit FT8 as well, back to radio. I'm not sure why we're not hearing the, the classic sounds. Oh, I know what, it's USB. So go to mode, and you need to hit USB for... We'll do some CW decode testing soon. And the only thing I found was if it doesn't start to work, and that's actually not the decode screen, by the way. Radio, let's get it right, mode. Right, FT8. There you go, that's the decode screen. The only thing I found, the decode screen looks like that and like this, really. Is I, I did set the time on it when I last did it last time. So just hold down radio until it beats. Although, look, you can see there, it started decoding without me setting the time. So you, it looks like you don't need to set the time. With the ATS25, you have to at least have Wi-Fi on so it can find the time. And there's the time there. Uh, just go into settings and find Wi-Fi. So anyway, this was about the stand. And yeah. It's not going to keep it because it has fallen over a few times. That is way better. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.